Imagine raising a child. For 14 years. Now imagine that you decide to get your child a cellular phone so they may communicate with you and their friends and may browse the internet and access the entire database of all the world's knowledge. Now what do they do with that power? They get online, they download Instagram, they load up, they follow a few meme pages, and in the comments section of that meme page, they advertise themselves and the page they have created. And they say something along the lines of, Are we just going to ignore the fact that I post the exact same thing every day and my dad hits me? What would you do to your child? I'll tell you what I would do to my child. Bend them right the fuck over and I would While we experience some technical difficulties, please enjoy this lolly trap hentai. Like, spank them? In a w not in like a weird- <sighs> probably like that, wouldn't you? God, I wish my dad would've spanked me. Hey guys, this will probably go unnoticed, but I'm a 17-year-old up-and-coming artist really working hard, doing it all on my own. That's why I'm here self-promoting. Can y'all comment some mean or nice stuff on my page so I can seem sort of relevant to my friends? Huh? Don't let this distract you from the fact that I post the same picture of a llama cat daily. I post pics of my dog and I in boxers! Holy shit, really? Oh, he sure does. Warning. If y'all like edgy memes, I suggest you follow Zuck3D. Do not report, please. REPORT IT! I got deleted at 310k. I'd appreciate it if you looked at my memes. I promise you won't regret it. Have a nice day. Oh, must suck not making that Chinese knockoff money. Oh, little poor liberal. Butt hurt much by Trump's victory in the elections. <laughs> How the fuck did this get in this folder? Hey, I'm just a little streamer that started on Twitch like two weeks ago. I know this probably won't be seen by anyone else. I know this is gonna get lost in the comments, but I know this will probably get lost in the comments. Oh, well since you were so coy about it, I can't be mad at you. You were so nice and apologetic and self-aware that you're a fucking annoying kind. Sorry, it's October, it's happy month. The entire month, happy, all happy, Pumpkins, skeletons, happy. The science and method and art of advertising yourself via your own words is called self-promo. It's so common, many Discord servers, including mine, have a section for it. Because us content creators can't even have a little community without little dickwads coming in like, Hey guys, I know you're probably gonna ignore this, but I'm just a small YouTuber with 80 subscribers. And I'd really appreciate it if you check me out. So like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Listen buddy, I get it. We all gotta start somewhere. I'm sure somewhere down the line I was in someone's comment section like, Hey guys, do you think my videos are okay? Let me know, please. Just kidding. No, I didn't. I'm a self-made man, a millionaire, and I'm in thousands and thousands of dollars of debt to my state university. <laughs> and my channel is dying. But I am not here to rag on those who decide to promote themselves and be an entrepreneur in their field. I'm not here to do that because I respect the hustle. I'm here to simply help those like myself who wish to avoid the unwarranted impromptu ads they may see while browsing the many funnies of the internet. Case study one, example one, Instagram comment sections, any post in the comments that starts with, are y'all really gonna ignore the fa- Fuck you, that is an ad, don't read anymore, save your eyes and your brain and your tight little ass the trouble. And by even reading and replying to their shitty self promo, you are giving them the sweet, juicy impressions that they need for the Instagram algorithm to just say, ugh, um. Uh, don't give him the attention. This fucker here, Daily Egg Pig, he's been in my Instagram comments for months, probably close to a year now. He's always there. I can post a really cute selfie, making me look really good. And this ding dong will be in the comments section saying, hey, I post a picture of an egg every day and I rate it. I mean, yeah, good for him. He's definitely a man of his word. He sure enough posts a freaking egg every gosh darn day but I don't care. I don't want to block him because all he does is post eggs, man. How am I going to explain that to people whenever my fucking Instagram eventually gets hacked and I see all the people I have blocked? I see you blocked this hacker, this hacker, a guy who posts eggs. Uh, but seriously, don't fall. Case study two, example one, Kanye West's Twitter replies. Now a place where self-promo is frequently found where you wouldn't expect it is on Twitter in the replies of famous people's tweets. It's interesting because the way Twitter works, similar to Instagram, is that the replies, like the comments on Instagram, are ranked in terms of popularity. This takes priority to verification. However, the tweets with the most likes show up at the top 
of the tweet. However, it's not just the initial reply. It can be a reply to a reply or a reply to a reply to a reply. It can be four tweets down in the thread and still move the entire thread to the top because that one reply got so many gosh darn friggin' hagen likes. Okay, so let's go to Kanye West's Twitter and what do we see? Boom! This guy right here promoting himself, his tweet gets 10 likes, but this guy roasting him, garbage, gets 40 likes. Therefore, it moves this thread, this mini thread right here, farther up in the replies. Makes sense? I think so. It may have its cons, but I think it's a very effective system. And because I'm curious, I do want to hear this garbage. First thing first, let me roll up before I hit this dope. Got your baby mama and me to her, I don't want that hope. Everybody getting lit, I'm about to- Brother. Let me, let me, let me show you real music. I should do a full cover of Megalovania for Halloween. That'd be sick. If you want me to do that, comment down below. <laughs> Next example, a viral tweet. I think it goes without saying that viral tweets are one of the best and one of the worst things about Twitter. It seems that anyone can go viral for any reason at all. Take this tweet for example. This guy is saying, go look at her media, her photos on Twitter. I don't really need to do that because I can just click here and see that the whole point is that girl with big butt has baby and that is not good. Well, gosh, diddly darn, that was quite the surprise. And the self promo is here, y'all. Might as well follow me. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. To be fair, the tweet did do numbers, as basic bitch Twitter would say, as they drink their snap old tea while uh, quaking, I guess. And while it is a self-promo, I see no shame in saying, hey, follow me. But I ain't gonna fucking follow you. Here's a perfect example of shameless, shameless self-promotion. Basically, these fucking ding-dongs sit in the corner of their house all day, thinking up funny maymays they can use whenever they retweet things on Twitter. And when they finally retweet something and they use maybe someone's account, maybe they pay someone to give it a fat retweet. Maybe, maybe they already have an account that has a lot of followers or something and they're just leeching back and forth. It's a spider web. It's a spider web of followers, retweets. When they retweet something, give it a funny caption and it gets a lot of RTs, a lot of L-I-K-E-S's, they'll reply to it. Follow me, my tweets are funny. And they're sure to include in their screenshots all of the likes that their tweets get, because that's relevant. I wouldn't want to follow you unless I can see that you've gotten a whole bunch of likes and retweets. Essentially, the way this scheme works is that they either know this person or they own this account. This person posts the video. This person retweets the video, gives it a funny caption, and maybe this guy has an account that has a lot of followers that retweets this tweet, and then it gets out there. And by the luck of the draw, it gets a whole lot of impressions, and then he has the opportunity to promote his own Twitter. And let's see if he uses his Twitter for any monetary gain because he has 43,000 followers. And... Boomski, here it is. This guy was paid by this rapper right here to post his iTunes link and post one of his videos. Look at all the likes and impressions on these funny, hilarious, epic gamer tweets. Hundreds of thousands of likes and retweets. And then this actual tweet right here that wasn't inorganically boosted only got 1.4 thousand likes. Honestly, I can't complain. I have 30,000 followers and my tweets get like 200, 300 likes on a good day. So, I mean, maybe I'm a bitch. I don't know. But that's that. That's all I have for you today. I wanted to keep it shit. I wanted to keep it a little short and quick because I got some stuff I gotta do. It's 5.52, I start streaming in eight minutes. Oh, speaking of which, have you heard that I streamed on Twitch? Every single night, twitch.tv forward slash Wiesner. I sometimes just play games, but a lot of the time I'm sitting there talking to my boys in the chat, asking them how they're doing, giving advice on life, and looking at memes together because that's really what it's all about. How many times have I said that on my channel? Huh. I don't know. I love you boys. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so, um... Hi, it is 1.40 a.m. I just finished editing the video that you just watched. Um, I look really gross, and I'm naked under this shirt. I'm going to be waking up in like six hours. I'm going to San Jose, California for TwitchCon. If you guys live there or are going to be there for TwitchCon, feel free to come up to me at the convention, say hello, uh, and you have to say ooh-woo directly afterwards. I'm just kidding. Don't. My girlfriend's there. She doesn't like that I make videos for a living. Hopefully I'll make a video on the event. I think I'm doing something with Jimmy here. I'm hopefully gonna meet some streamer friends like Nim and a couple other guys. But yeah, feel free to come and say hi to me. I promise I'm not weird. That's all, that's all I had to say. Sorry that there's been no videos lately. I have been uh, going through a lot. Can I zoom in on my face for dramatic effect? Whoosh! I've been going through a lot. Dun, dun, dun. Um... But I love you guys, 
and yeah, I'll see, I'll see, uh, I'll see maybe a TwitchCon. Uh, I'm gonna use a Billy Marchia Fava song as my outro, so he stops asking me. Billy, stop. Leave me alone. I'm so sick, bitch, I got ligma. I just pulled up on your bitch, my dick small like a pencil. Billy got bars like a motherfucking jail cell. You are not new, motherfucker, you AOL. I am the golden, yes, Billy is new. I'll never stop looking, little bitch, just like Duracell. Ayy, 